New Mexico is already the UFO and alien capital of the world. Now it could become the capital for finding alien life in outer space. The Magdalena Rich, Ridge rather, Observatory at New Mexico Tech just added some new vision to its giant telescope. News 13's Bob Martin reports that should help scientists search for alien planets that could support life. The Magdalena Ridge Observatory Telescope gazes into space from a mountain near Socorro. The giant mirror, almost eight feet wide, was a spare for the Hubble Space Telescope. Director Eileen Ryan says their biggest job is watching out for asteroids, preventing surprises like when that big space rock slammed into Russia last year. The Magdalena Ridge Telescope carefully probes the night sky as the universe sweeps by overhead looking for the tiniest moving specks of light in an infinite sea. We have been really studying uh, and being more focused on uh, objects that are smaller than we would have worried about before, but could do great damage even if they air burst in the upper atmosphere. While telescopes like this one at Magdalena Ridge can see asteroids, no telescope here on Earth or in space can yet do any better than this in capturing a direct image of an exoplanet. And only a handful can be seen this way. Most of the hundreds of known exoplanets cannot be seen at all and were found by using indirect methods. One way, watching a star's light briefly fade as a planet passes in front. But astronomers like NASA's Mark Swain want more. We don't just want to know that these planets exist. We want to know what they're like and ultimately look for signs of life. Personally, I think it's very likely we will find life somewhere on some exoplanet. Exoplanet research has only been around a few years, so unfortunately today's telescopes were not designed to identify the chemical fingerprints of alien air. Enter New Mexico Tech professor Michelle Creech Ekman and NASA colleague Mark Swain. They decided to build an instrument, sort of a three and a half million dollar set of spectacles that could be attached to the telescope at Magdalena Ridge to probe alien worlds for something specific. Atmospheres that contain uh, carbon dioxide or oxygen or methane or water, the kinds of things that we see in our own solar system and the planets in our solar system. The complex package of optics and electronics is called Nessie. The task of fabricating the precision parts has gone to small machine shops in the Albuquerque area. We like to see parts advancing uh, the industry and we like to see parts that are challenging, especially uh, like to see them stay in the state of New Mexico. A lot of what they're doing is really pushing our, uh, our tolerances. A lot of what they're wanting to do in, the, in, in their accomplishment of what they're trying to measure requires exacting precision. Parts filter into a New Mexico Tech lab where they are tested before assembly. Nessie's optics and electronics will view a band of light not visible to humans, but that will unveil alien atmospheres. Liquid nitrogen will supercool parts, maximizing sensitivity. Tech postdoc Luke Schmidt says building a trailblazing instrument has its challenges. You find things that don't work and so you fix those um, and that lets you get a little bit farther um, and then you find something else that's not quite right and so you fix that. Nessie's ultra-sensitive electronics will detect an exoplanet's atmosphere as it crosses in front of a bright star. Well, one percent of the light that we see is from the exoplanet and we need to find that one percent of light and it's not easy. Finally, Nessie is transferred to Magdalena Ridge. Parts go together quickly and soon Nessie is bolted onto the side of the massive telescope. The dome is opened. Telescope and Nessie merge and gaze into space. It will take some long nights to fine tune everything. Then the search for habitable planets begins. I grew up on uh, Star Trek when I was a kid and you know planets were just part of what you assumed was out there and there were lots of them and you could go to visit them and now we're starting to be able to actually find them and characterize them. We should be ready to expect the unexpected. We should expect that Nessie will discover something we can't even imagine. Bob Martin, KRQE News 13 at Magdalena Ridge. Beam me up, Bobby. Magdalena Ridge Observatory is not giving up its asteroid hunting job. It will still be on the lookout for big space rocks that might be heading our way. Mm.